Riddle and Riff here. That's right. It's that time again. Seems like it was just two or three weeks ago. Two weeks, maybe? I don't know. Another survey from the Republican National Committee in Washington, D.C. So here we go. Let's fill this puppy out. Do you generally identify yourself as a conservative Republican, a voter Democrat, a moderate conservative Republican? Do you have any interest in serving as a volunteer? No, I don't want to serve. Ugh. Politics. Yuck. Ah, uh, yes, I did. I voted for Donald Trump. Do you plan on voting? I already did. This one, this one's people on data. Yes, I plan to vote for Republicans. Maybe some Democrats, too, if they're local. Uh, if I know them. Uh, but mostly Republicans. What age category applies to you? Oh, I'll put that in. I'm 44 years old, so I'm 36 to 50. How close do you think your views are to, are to other voters in your community? Somewhat close. What media source did you really receive your political news? NBC, CBS, MBS, CBS, local websites, Friends, Fox, Facebook, Radio, Twitter. I'll put other. Fill in YouTube. Okay. Do you think President Trump is leading our nation in the right direction? I'm not sure. Do you think Congress is committed to passing President Trump's agenda? I'm not sure about that one either. Do you believe your state representative and Congress support President Trump? I don't. Not a clue. Not a clue. Do you currently trust the federal government bureaucracy in the best interest of the citizens? No. Government people are just worried about themselves, getting their money, getting their kickbacks. At least the majority of them. <clears throat> Do you believe the national media has a strong bias against all things don't? Yes, absolutely. They hate him. Do I think political greatness has gotten out of hand? Yes. Please mark in the order of importance was one thing the most important. Which five issues? Cut the deficit, rebuild the infrastructure, deal with North Korea. We uh, have three deals, strengthen the American military, address the care of veterans. Um, one. North Korea would be two. Those North Korean government people are, it's not good. They're, they're being bad. Bad North Korea. I only put you forever two. I didn't put you one. I put you ever two. Uh, let's see. Uh, I take care of the veterans. I know it's conservative judges. Okay. Okay. Please indicate the top five issues. So let's see. Texas is always in here. Social Security, Environment, Healthcare, definitely. Um, these are all important issues. How confident are you that America's economy will continue to improve in the next 12 months? No opinion. I have no idea. Not a clue. <coughs> um, cost of health care is very important. Okay, it's in the back. Oh, there's more in the back. 
<gasps> questions, questions, questions. And then turn over and more questions, questions, questions. Uh, do you think race relations in America are getting better or worse? They're getting better, in my opinion, but they're still not where they should be. I don't know about climate change. Part of me says it is, part of me says it isn't, so I'll put unsure. Do you support canceling all federal funding to sanctuary cities that Yeah, let's, let's get rid of that. Efforts to secure No, I don't think the wall's a dumb idea. The walls is no idea because they can they can dig under it, they can blow it up, or they get a little airplane slide over it, or one of those catapults where they go where they're like. Plus, who's gonna pay for it? And how big is it gonna be? And how long is it gonna be? And it just it's not gonna happen. Uh, do you support Republican efforts to enact a market-based healthcare system? No. I'm not sure about Obamacare. I don't know that much about it. Do you support the Republican tax plan? I don't know what the tax plan is, so I'm going to say sure. Do you agree with President Trump and other and our Republican leaders in Congress should continue to be aggressive working to pass I really don't know. I think if they got rid of the deficit, that would be the biggest hurdle to overcome. Can't get rid of that deficit, they're never going to do it, though. At least not. President Trump has called for eliminating the U.S. Department of Education and transferring educational supervision. No, that would be bad. Although I, see some, I can see some advantages to it, though. I put should put no opinion, but do you support canceling all of Barack Obama's unconstitutional? If they're unconstitutional, yeah, I support him doing it. Do you believe more federal laws than Pete and us? This is so freaking boring, I don't even know if I'm gonna finish it. Do you believe more federal laws than Pete individual second? Do you believe more federal laws that impede interest? No, definitely not. Do you agree that in response to the in response to the Department of Veterans Affairs? Failing in its role to properly serve the of America. Yeah, I support that. That sounds good. Oh, we're almost done. Okay. Do you agree with President Trump that fixing our nation's inner cities? Uh, yep, yeah, I believe in that. That sounds good. Is President Trump right to pursue fair trade deals and renegotiate President Trump's trade policy with other countries as a means of boosting? Sure, why not? Sounds good. Not much about it. Sounds good. Is committed, President Trump is committed to reducing crime in America and ending the violence against the law enforcement? Uh, well, yeah. Uh, In an attempt to undermine our democracy, Russia used a sinister and systematic attack on our political system in the 2016 presidential elections. 
With a critical midterm elections just months away, do you believe our government should act immediately to protect the integrity of our elections? Well, uh, yeah, duh. National defense! Finally, we're almost done. Do you support rebuilding our nation's military by eliminating the defense? By eliminating the defense? I don't even know, I don't even know what that is. What that is. Which of the following do you think will have the most impact on America's foreign policy in the next five years? Well, let's see. North Korea, Iran's nuclear, uh, I'm gonna put all the, I'll erase that. I'm gonna put all the above. Should America take military action if necessary to keep North Korean? Uh, yeah. Do you support or oppose the United States sending ground troops to Iraq, Syria, and other areas to destroy ISIS? And get rid of them, yeah, support. Do you agree with the Republican committee to continue to fully fund the missile defense shield? No. Missile shields never work. It's not the way they're supposed to. At least from what I've read and seen on TV and YouTube. Should the U.S. take a more muscular attitude toward Russia and China as they move to establish themselves as military? Mm, sure, why not? Do you agree that our federal government must go all out to combat cyber attacks on our nation's government? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's it. Finally, thank goodness. I know it's important to answer these questions so they have an idea of what the people think, but this is like so boring. But I gave them my opinion, and now they know. They know what I think on some of the issues. <laughs> so I'm going to seal it up. Inside the envelope. Then I'm going to leak it. Leak it. Ugh. Then seal it up. Hold it down. Pushy, push, push. So it's all sealed up. Ready to be mailed. Need to put a stamp on it. There's no stamp, so I have to put a stamp on it. I'll do that later. Not now. Because I don't have any stamps right now. Stamp it later. So I filled out my survey. Did it again. So until next time, I am Randall and Ruth. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless. See you later. Bye. Or you'll see me later. Bye. I don't. You know what I mean. Bye.